It's called The Big Ask, and it's fronted by a friend of the earth, not a Tom York from Radio Heavy. I speak to Tom now. What is and I'm basically in the EU to help, uh, in, in uh, Brussels to help the uh, EU campaign start off and it's 17 countries throughout Europe. With this campaign starting, we'll have in 17 European countries, um, from Scotland all the way to Hungary, from Latvia to Spain, um, people going to their politicians and demanding, we want you to put binding legislation in place for annual emission cuts. Uh, the big ask dot eu the big ask you um, you go on a, a website and that will give you clear um, help as, as to where you should go first why are we doing this um, because we're actually experiencing that there's a lot of talk about climate change but nobody is doing it so we want to have clear commitments we want to be able to check it every year and we want the EU to put up a penalty system so that those countries who are not delivering actually push to do so the Friends of the Earth Big Ask campaign was the first time that anybody had called for a national legal framework to reduce emissions year on year in order to achieve a long-term target. Friends of the Earth set the debate, but more importantly mobilised public opinion behind that core demand to show politicians not only was this logical and sensible and well thought through, actually it's very popular and people want politicians to act on this. Science is telling us more warnings than I was doing three years ago. It is a very, very serious and very burning issue and they need to stop being timid. If climate change is done right, we can do it, we have the technologies, we can be much more efficient in the way we use energy, but we need legislation in place. The reason for doing it year on year is so that you can trace what's going on, there's no call, there can't be excuses, it's that everybody knows which way we're heading, there's no sort of hiatus for five years where like, oh well, we were building some power stations so we couldn't do anything. We are asking one simple big question, the big ask, and that is what are our governments, what's the European Union actually doing? Friends of Earth Europe um, is starting today this campaign in 17 different countries. We'll be demanding from national governments and the European Unions to commit to binding annual reductions for CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. And that's why we want clear commitments. We want to be able to check them on a yearly basis, not in 10 years and then all waking up, oop, it didn't work. And we want a penalty system in place on the European Union's level, which um, allows us to push the countries who haven't done their job yet. And we have a moral responsibility, each and every one of us, to, to not just to do stuff on our own, because that's not good enough. We have a moral responsibility to turn around and change the way we live. And the only way we're ever going to change the way we live is to get our governments to rewrite rules, gradually make us change. I personally think that you can't sustain yourself throughout a day feeling like that. You can't look your child in the eye and think, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry kids. You know, um, I, I think that you have to retain hope and I think that um, amazingly something as simple as asking your government to um, sign up to a law 
that both citizens and business have to commit to, that everybody understands where they're going, everybody understands the direction. All of this must lead to at least 30% greenhouse gas emission reductions until 2020, and they have to be done domestically. The climate change challenge, if approached in the right way, in a planned way with clear laws, is about gaining enormous social and economic benefits. Benefits in the form of warmer homes, greater mobility, lower fuel bills, cleaner air, nicer food, stronger communities, millions of new jobs and a huge new economic opportunity. All of that can come from a planned, clear, long-term response and that's what the Big Ask campaign is all about. It's about putting in place the mandate for Europe to take this huge opportunity for global leadership and avoiding the worst consequences of global warming. I mean, they, they were pretty inspired by what happened in the UK, you know, it was a pretty low-key campaign, but we've managed to get this bill going. Well, that's good news. So we're leading the way on, on this one. That's your message. Only, yes. The successful campaign inside the United Kingdom has inspired people right across the world to be taking action differently on climate change, to be arguing with their national politicians about the need for national frameworks. And we've now got 17 Friends of the Earth groups right across the European Union now taking up the same kind of challenge that we had in the UK. To well, the example of the Big Ask campaign in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, where we now have actually a piece of legislation in the Parliament that would oblige the country to do every year 3% CO2 emission cuts, shows very clearly that an individual can do a lot. It was 100,000 people, real people, calling up their parliamentarians, writing letters, being out on the street that made that possible. The other thing you have to remember is a lot of MPs throughout Europe, just like the UK, would love to do something about this, but they are constantly harangued and harassed by uh, lobbyists from industry um, who don't want it to happen, want it watered down, want to carry on the way it is. And the truth is, we can't carry on the way it is. And it's only you and me that are able to tell politicians that you can't carry on the way it is. Thank uh, Friends of the Earth and uh, Tom for uh, their great contribution in raising awareness in uh, the European Union and mobilizing people in order to achieve the reduction of emissions that is necessary. The fight against climate change is at the beginning actually because in order to have uh, effective tackling of climate change, the European Union efforts are not enough. We are showing the way to the world, we are leading the, wo the, the world, but it is necessary to have a global agreement. It's called The Big Ask, and it's fronted by a friend of the Earth, not Tom York from Radio News. Yes, so, uh, Il est pire, il est y a masse. C'est une urgence pour nos enfants. Voilà, mais tout donc.
Tenia Vilagnac. E che dobbiamo noi tutti cambiare il nostro modo di vivere. Juntos podemos salvar o nosso planeta. C'est une urgence, nous devons tous contribuer à la sauvegarde de la planète. This is for all of us. E de nosso par cheverive per casa de tira vanda vet botos, bashkim indropians, bashkim da Amerika sta kina za vanda vet tira. Borume na lakshu me to planeti mas. C'est une urgence pour nous tous, nous pouvons sauver la planète. Nous pouvons changer notre monde. Yeah.